Welcome to the East London Mosque. My name is Azeen, I'm a Muslim, and my religion is called Islam. This is where I've come to worship Allah, which is what we call God. Come on in, I'll show you around. The inside of the building is always kept clean as a sign of respect to Allah. So the first thing I do is take off my shoes and leave them in these racks here. Girls and women should also cover their heads with a scarf called a hijab inside the mosque. And a lot of boys and men like to wear a little cap like this, called a topi. As well as keeping the building clean, we like to keep ourselves clean too. So before I pray, I come in here to do a special wash called Wudu. So I sit in front of one of these taps and I wash my hands, face and feet three times. Now I'm ready to go into the main prayer hall. The first thing you'll notice, there isn't much in here. This building is called a mosque, or masjid, which both mean a place of prostration. Prostration is when someone bows down with their forehead right on the floor. And all Muslims do this when we pray as a sign of complete obedience to Allah. So a prayer hall just needs to be a big open space where lots of people can sit on the floor to say their prayers. There's nice thick carpet so we're comfortable when praying and there's these lines across it which we stand on in rows. This gives us enough space to prostrate so we don't bump into the people in front. Wherever we are in the world, all Muslims face the city of Makkah in Saudi Arabia when we pray. That's because the first ever building used to worship Allah, called the Kaaba, is in Makkah. It's a symbol of togetherness that all Muslims everywhere are concentrating on the same holy place and praying to Allah. The direction of the Kaaba in Makkah is called the Qibla and you can work it out using the compass. But here, in the mosque, there's an easier way. This archway is called the Mirab, and it's always in the wall facing the Qibla. The person who leads the prayers in the mosque is called an Imam, and he'll stand in front of the Mirab to say the prayers out loud. The Mirab reflects his voice back into the room so that everyone can hear him, because of course, he'll be facing Makkah too. Muslims pray five times a day, just before sunrise, just after midday, mid-afternoon, just after sunset, and at night before going to bed. I could do that anywhere, as long as I'm in a clean place or have somewhere to lay down a prayer mat. But lots of people like to come here to pray with other people. About a quarter of an hour before the prayer is due to start, a man called a muezzin will call people to prayer by reciting the Adhan. In Muslim countries, this can be heard from loudspeakers outside, so the local people know to stop what they're doing and get over to the mosque. Traditionally, and it's still done in some places, the muezzin will climb the stairs to the top of a tower called a minaret to give the call. Minarets are still a common feature of mosques, even though the muezzin often uses a microphone these days. In the UK, you usually only hear the adhan inside the building, but here at East London Mosque, the daytime calls are broadcasted outside as well. Just before the prayer starts, there's another call, which is called the Iqama. 
On Fridays, people make a special effort to come to the midday prayers because the Imam does a special talk called a khutbah and he'll do it from this platform here, which is called a minbar. Above the prayer hall, traditional mosques have a dome. This helps the Imam's voice carry to all parts of the room and in hot countries allows the hot air to rise to keep everyone else cool. And some say that the dome is a reminder of heaven above us and they are often most beautifully decorated. You won't see any pictures of people or animals inside the mosque because when Islam started in Arabia hundreds of years ago, most people worshipped statues and pictures. So Muslims wanted to show they were different because they worship Allah who couldn't be seen. So instead, mosques are often decorated with passages from the Quran, which is a holy book. It's written in a very old form of Arabic, which looks beautiful when written out like this. The art of beautiful writing is called calligraphy, and some of the oldest and most beautiful calligraphy in the world is in Arabic. You might also see geometrical patterns, like geometry and maths. These are amazingly complicated designs made up of different shapes and they are often symmetrical. Or there are sometimes patterns that look like leaves and branches twining around each other and over the building. That sort of design is called arabesque. Men and women pray separately in the mosque, so they are concentrating on Allah and not on each other. Sometimes the women will have an area at the back of the main prayer hall or a gallery or like we've got here, the women have their own separate room. Education and learning are very important to Muslims. So we have a classroom here where I come to a madrasa. That's school in Arabic. I'm learning Arabic so that I can read the Quran in its original form and not just a translation. And that's my mosque. Out here you can see the dome and minaret standing proudly out part of our community. Thanks for coming, bye!